long to Snowbird Mesa. staying for the next two nights we're actually we haven't that's true we're not sleeping here in the parking lot <laughs> we hope we're not because it's kind of tipsy here but we're close so we're at willow beach national recreation area it's on the colorado river an hour south of las vegas we're on uh the arizona side yep on arizona side of it <clears throat> and check-in is not until 2 p.m However, we had to leave where we were, and also there was a wind warning, so we would rather be here already and not on the highway when the wind picks up. It's very still right now. So we're just hanging out in the truck. Kaylee has eaten and gone potty. Bear has gone potty and is snacking. We're having grapes and cliff bars. To I'm feeding my bride grapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is very pretty it's kind of cool we went into the gift uh there's a gift store here that's where you have to check in and apparently there's a little restaurant but it looked closed maybe it opens later there was no uh hours on the door though so maybe it's once in a great while, it's open. <laughs> this might be off season. Who knows? We didn't ask um, in the gift store because we had already been in there. And speaking of gifts, we got ourselves a Christmas present. We'll show it to you later. We got Christmas presents at a gift shop. Yeah, at a marina. At a marina. At a campground. <laughs> yeah, they're nice though. <laughs> So the campground is up that away. I think it's like about another mile or something. Yeah. Tom and Bear went up there thinking that it was very close, but it's very far away. So they turned around and came back. <laughs> we walked about three quarters of the way up the hill, and I'm like, we're done. Because <laughs> it's straight up. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun uh, driving up there from a dead stop. 
Um, also, there isn't any cell service here, so we're off grid for two days. Today, tomorrow, and part of Saturday until we get back up the road. We actually could drive up the road about a, uh, one mile. One mile or cell service. Yep. Yep, so no big deal. We don't care. No, we don't. But we do have full hookups, so that would be good. If you're trying to get a hold of us, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Willow Beach, Arizona. We are at the Willow Beach um, National Recreation Area. It's part of the National Park System. This is a campground. I think it said it had 20 RV sites and it's got some tent sites. We are in D4. There's wind, so I'm stopped talking. Here at Willow Beach, there's our campsite right there. Colorado River down there. Tom and Bear right there. And we're just tucked away in this little canyon here. I think it's, I think I said this um, on my, uh, video a uh, 360 up on the roof or somewhere that there's like 20 RV sites and I'm not sure how many campsite uh, tent sites but it's really cool got nice big spaces very pretty it was so quiet last night it was nice it was no sirens no <laughs> airplanes I mean, we can hear, whoa, you can hear that plane up there. But not last night, couldn't hear anything. Oh crap, we're in the flight path, let's get out of here. <laughs> Silly boy. So pretty nice. We're kind of bummed that we only booked two nights here. But there isn't any cell service, so staying here too long isn't an option for us. Unless we had Starlink. We've seen a couple uh, Starlink antennas out, or dishes, whatever you want to call them. Little white rectangles. <laughs> We've seen a couple of them here, but we haven't seen the people to be able to talk to them to see how good it works here. Um, no trees, but lots of mountains. So. This is Willow Creek Campground, and, Arizona. And Marina. And Marina, yeah. We've got a lot of kayaking and that kind of thing on the river. So here's their restrooms and showers building. We have a, uh, it's like a hotel room key card to be able to get in. And look at this. There's no cell service here. So they provide you with a payphone. And honest to goodness, old-fashioned payphone. Check works. it out. Oh, no coins. We used to always check these. Dang. Hello? Oh, you can still, there's a dial tone. I don't know. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it or not. Oh my gosh. It's a real dial tone. A real dial tone. That's funny. I'm going to go in the women's and check it out. Yes, ma'am. All right. 
So we have this little key card thingy. I think that's for the Is that only for the laundry? Oh yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Hello, anybody in here? Nope. Okay. Okay. So here's their bathroom. Um, this is just a bathroom. Yeah, no showers in this section. Might be on the other side of the building because there's also a laundry here. This is nice and clean. So here's one of the showers. Oh, this one's bigger than the other one we looked at. This must be for, oh, it is for handicap. So there you go, got a real chair. And this is a nice big shower, but it's for handicap. Nice. So here's our lot of la little laundry room. It's got two dryers and two washers, a couple chairs, and some books to read while you're here or to exchange. So not bad for a campground. Pretty cool for a campground, huh? Mm-hmm. So these sites are the tent sites. Camp posts do a really good job here. Everything's nicely raked and clean. Kind of like how Tom and I did it. So here's a tent site and they give you a lantern pole. So oh, pretty nice. They got little walkways from the parking places to right there. So there's tent sites here and then again up over there. Pretty nice. So this is another site that we um, looked at when we walked around last night that would be another cool site. You're right up against that rock formation and you're in between tent sites. B4. So out our back when actually we would have that as our view because we have the big window in the back and then Kaylee's window would face that way and then the kitchen window would face this way and we wouldn't really see that too much we might be able to out of the back window where I sit for my desk but still it's pretty views kind of all over the place because the trailer you know RVs aren't packed in here nice big wide spots yeah and then you got vegetation and stuff in between you so yeah. that makes it nice these, uh, I mean, look at these tent sites. You go upstairs to get to them. That's pretty neat. Probably not to lug all your stuff up there, but. And then you have um, assigned parking for your site. The uh, handicap, though, should be concrete and not dirt and rocks. Really should be, but I think they're probably trying to keep it as natural as possible which could be why. Isn't that cool? So there's this. And that is because of flash floods. So as you see, this is all like a wash. And it also goes like over the road. So you'd probably be stuck up here for a little while until they got everything cleared out. But thankfully there isn't any rain in the forecast. There's the host site and here's where you check in or you don't have, you check in down at the marina, but there's a kiosk here. And if you come in after hours, they have uh, little clips down here with envelopes, probably for all of your information, your key card to get into places. all your rules, emergency numbers, which you would have to go to the payphone to call. See, payphone at restrooms. I hear birdies on the roof. Um, there's the camp hosts. See, you are here. Here's our campsite right there, D4. 
Then they have all kinds of uh, kayak rentals and boat rentals, paddle boards, all kinds of stuff for you to do. They even have potty, puppy potty bags. This is the host site. They've got it decorated really cute. They've been here for five years. 20, uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In the summer. Yeah, he says it gets like to be 120 something degrees. 127. Ugh. Almost every day. No, thank you. The summer. No, thank you. I couldn't do it. Too hot. Well, there we are. And there's the campground. That's it. That's only how big it is. Nice and small. And actually, it is like at the end of this road, so you don't have a lot of traffic going here. It's just the people that are staying at the campground. And look at the views. It is so pretty. There's the Colorado River. So this is the uh, canyon that you have to drive down and up to the highway and to the marina and campground. I'm on a winding road. I don't know which way to go, but I know if I follow my heart, like the beat of the drum, then I'm off to a good start. Let's go. Well, we just have you probably haven't seen in quite a while so we'll let you know when we are with them Maybe they're... <laughs> hi <laughs> hi we're just going through baby clothes are you <laughs> yeah. hi Joby. we are in kingman and it's a foggy morning. Tom was noticing yesterday the humidity in the air. Oh, birds. And this morning we wake up to fog. It rained a little bit last night. Not a lot, but enough to make it foggy. This is all. Foggy morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It is a travel day, and it's not a Saturday. How about that, Dave? We get a brownie point for that? Uh, <laughs> um, what day is it? Um, uh, I'm lost on what days it is. It's Tuesday. 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 Okay. So, we are headed to Quartzsite from Kingman. We had a wonderful visit here with Candace and Jason and Jovi, 
and also Dan and Jen. Yay! Yay! We got to see them all. Yeah, we did. We got to spend some it's good great time. It's spending time with both. Yes. It really it is. is. I spend time with friends. And it's kind of nice. We come to one place and get to visit two different sets of friends. So, pretty cool. So we had a nice visit here, quick, only just a few nights. And we are on our way to Quartzsite. For a short visit. For a short visit. Figure we'll do it in December and not in January. <laughs> the beauty of the journey. 